Hai, salam sejahtera. This is Kids Breaks, Mind Over Breaks and Driving the Breaks. Hey guys, it's John and today we'll be having a look at 2014 set. This is Lego Marvel Super Heroes set 76022 called X-Men vs. The Sentinel. It's age rated from 6 to 12 years old and comes with 336 pieces. You may have noticed that I've been very much into spaceships, planes and very fast things. Well, let's get to it. This here is the Blackbird. For those X-Men enthusiasts, you might have noticed that the rudder angles are off. Yeah, and I apologize for that technicality. However though, I reckon that the jet looks stunning from this angle. This flat view of the back is also marvelous. Marvel Comics, marvelous, get it? It's not incredibly detailed, but those trans orange dishes makes it looks like it's on afterburners or something. And it looks fast. For those with the keen eyes, you might have noticed that the jet is on stilts. It doesn't come with the set, but the intention was to show you guys how it looked in your hands. One of the play features include these flick fire missiles to the sides. From this angle, you can see that there's much room for you to flick it off. Visually, I really like how it slopes to the back and it continues all the way to the end. It's a shame that the front end is a bit bulky and the bottom rudder doesn't stay in its position. I opinion that the front view looks a bit awkward because of the sticker. Well, obviously the pilot sits at the front and the sticker is blocking its view. The slope continuity on the front overhang is also awkward, but I'm okay with it. It's more of a shape limitation rather than a design issue. Surprisingly, the underside is also good looking. The big pieces play a major role with that, but personally I don't mind. Inside access can be from the front or from the middle. Despite its size, the Blackbird sits a staggering 4 minifigures. That's two at the front, two in the middle, and more for other features. And that feature includes a retractable rocket launcher. As usual, I'm not a fan of projectiles, but here's a view with everything closed. At the helm, we have the pilot at the front and the co-pilot slightly raised to the back. And in the middle compartment, we have another two seats facing each other. And between them, there's a console warning them the impending clash with the Sentinel. To the top of your view, there's some kind of a cupboard which will be covered later on. Here's another angle of the same compartment. Lego just went away with their creativity with this one. I just love this archway detail into the cockpit. Remember the cupboard? Well, let's take it out and have a closer look. So what's so special about this thing? It looks pretty plain from all corners. There's no gribbling, there's no detail and pretty much just one sticker saying the warning sign at the top. As the title suggests, this is a battle between the X-Men and the Sentinel. Mind you, the Sentinel is a formidable foe. So our heroes have to be prepared for the worst with an extinguisher and a wrench. Let's move on to the minifigures. Yeah! I'm not gonna pretend that I'm an expert. So if you find anything wrong with my information, with my details, just correct me in the comment section below. Well, first up, we have Wolverine. Of the four, I think that Wolverine is the most interesting figure of them all. He's got the most features such as a second face, the retractable claws, a headpiece, and a hairpiece to be used when he's not using the headpiece. Unfortunately, I can't find the hairpiece to show it to you guys. I swear, I had it with me. And then we have Storm. She's pretty straightforward, and I think the most unique thing about her is her hairpiece and the cloth. Unlike other figures, she's got an unusual anchor point at the wrist, which is cool. Moving on, we have Magneto. He's a bit plain. The designers gave him that levitating thing on the left there just to make him a little bit more interesting. He does come with a white hairpiece, but I've misplaced it too. Ah. And finally, we have Cyclops in the house. He's probably one of the interesting characters in the cartoons, but in this set, he's the lamest. Just an idea, I think that Lego should have gone with a diving snorkel goggle piece, just to make it a bit more interesting here. And last but not least, we have this sentinel doing the Egyptian dance. I just have to show you guys that for a simple build like this, there's so much to it. Articulation is pretty much okay for the most part. Limitations are mainly because of the socket design itself. I'm very pleased with this build and being able to hold the minifigures is a big big plus. 
and just because I'm nice, here's a demonstration of the flick fire missiles. So let's wrap up. Basically, this set is really, really cool. I really like the Blackbird, I really like the Sentinel, and I really like Wolverine. There are faults here and there, but they are at an acceptable level. If you like what you see and you like what you hear, I can't recommend enough. Get this set. So guys, what do you think of my opinions and this video? Please share your suggestions and feedbacks in the comments section. We'd be happy to improve ourselves and keep you guys, the viewers, entertained. If you have any queries about us, this set, other toys, or you have a different suggestion not related to this video, hit us up on kidsbreaks at gmail.com or you can visit our Facebook page to see your progress. You can find the link below. If you like this video and you like what we're doing, hit the like and subscribe button. Until then, I'll see you soon.